Hello YouTube. So today we're gonna do an anvil restoration and look at the awesome size of this anvil. Now, you do see a problem here though. Yes, it's a, it's a two piece anvil. Uh, some will say it's a defect, but on this one it's uh, not bad. It makes it easier to carry. It's only roughly half the weight. It is a farrier anvil the way it's got this uh, nub on the side of the horn and it's seen better days. So I got some 3M scotch Bright wheels. These uh, hook and loop onto the back of the grinder pad. You can see what we're working with. So I cut a decent bevel all the way around. I probably won't go all the way. This will be a small square at the center that won't be ground down. Hole goes all the way through the bottom up into the horn. But I might uh, thread a bolt in there to hold it while I weld it. Uh, do lots of preheat. Get a nice green, clean ground bevel all the way around. I'll go from there. So, this envelope has been modified a little bit. It's got two holes back here where they only typically have one. This seems to be about an inch or so uh, hardy hole. As far as the name brand on the anvil, it's awfully hard to see. Maybe once we clean her up, it might come through a little bit better. But uh, set outside, so it's hard to say what it is right off the bat. I don't see too much as far as a pattern. Okay, YouTube, change of plans. I just figured out this new quick attach base for the anvil, way better than the original. It's blue, it matches, everything's all good there. No, I'm just kidding, but this will be how I'll hold it down. The base is flat enough, it's got a little bit of a rock, so I might spin it around and uh, figure out where the high points are and try to get it flattened. When I'm all done, I might throw the anvil on the mill, try to take a plane at the top, or maybe put a grinding wheel or a, some type of surfacing wheel and go and surface it all. But uh, for here, we're just going to start polishing, get it welded, and then start doing some of the cosmetic stuff afterwards. So, do some polishing and grinding next. So as I've been grinding this, I've been thinking about how do I want to weld this together. i got a couple of different options. I can lay it on the welding table and use the top surface having contact to keep the top surface cold or cold, not hot enough to anneal it while I'm welding it so I don't lose any of the hardness of the surface plate. And the table is going to be an awesome heat sink. It's a one inch thick plate that's six foot by three foot. I mean, there's all kind of heat sink capability there. The other thought I've been thinking about, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, is stick it over in the press. I uh, use 20 tons to crest, crest the two faces as close together as possible. And when I weld, there will be no chance of it popping up or tweaking. I'll try to still evenly heat and go around it. But then I have an issue I'm wondering if I get it too hot, can I lose some of the kneeling and the, some of the hardness in the face. If I did it on the plate, there are bolster holes laid out through it. I could bolt the head of the anvil down and put the base on it, put some steel plates across and also use the crushing force but I don't think I'll be able to eat quite as much as in the press. I don't know if you guys can hear the difference. And that's it just sitting on there. So, kind of exciting to hear some life come back into this old girl. So I just wanted to follow up by showing you the progress I made at the end of the day. I think I figured out the dilemma of what I'm going to do as far as MIG or stick and all that stuff. I will probably stick well the root pass while it's over there in the press. I can apply 20 pounds of pressing force. And if I preheat it with a weed burner torch and get it up to about 500 degrees, I shouldn't have to worry about unannealing the top. This can press the two together so that the part that I did weld in the center is super, super close. The inside part I'll heat up with the oxygen acetylene torch and just get it glowing. Press, 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 lots of pressure down, and then go on with the stick welder and weld. And if you just look at the massive amounts of grinding dust I got on the floor, it's pretty impressive. This has been a, quite the process. I don't know if the time is really does it justice. But you can see in the edge where I started beveling, so I have a place for the stick weld. I should be able to burn it in here quite a ways. It's not gonna get to the center, but I need something to have it kind of lock into place. So. You see the base, it's also got a pretty good taper, bevel at the edge, so that's where I think we're going to leave it tonight. Uh, put them back together, you guys can see how they fit. 
They do kind of lock in place when you get it just so. So I feel pretty confident getting it back in its old home because it kind of just locks. Put the press, put it on the press over there, get all kind of pressure down and then go in with the stick wall there. Wire reel it real good before you start mid welding it so there's no imperfections and just try to high amperage. You got 250 amps to work with on the MIG welder. So I think we should have a pretty good shot of doing this. So here's the next thing I've decided I should check YouTube is how flat the top is. Cause that's gonna be a big consideration about whether or not I go and decide to mill it. But there is 30 seconds of an inch or so gap. So thinking that's making me want to lean towards grinding it of some sort. And I don't mean grinding it on like a surface grinder where that would be ideal and be super accurate and be beautiful. The first time you use it though, you feel like you wrecked it. So I'm trying to figure out if I can rig up some way of sticking it on the bridge port and putting some type of uh, grinding, using a grinding disc to real put a nice polish back and forth. I even got some, be careful with the RPM I run, some great big Cubitron grinding cutoff wheels that would be way bigger than any diameter, but I can make up an arbor for that that would go on the bridge port and go from there.